What's going on guys? Today I received this box and I'm so excited to share the contents of it with you. Now on this channel we do a lot of iPhone leaks and rumors but nothing physical. You know inside of here I will be sharing with you the iPhone 8 case, screen protector and even the 3D model that case manufacturers are given to produce cases and stuff for the iPhone. So I was approached by a company YesGo. They produce iPhone 7 and older model cases right now and uh, they said hey do you want the model for the iPhone 8? we're willing to share it with you. I'm like, oh yeah, please. So let's go ahead and take a look at the iPhone 8 and how it physically feels and looks. Now I did show you guys this 3D model provided by Vania Geskin, which is cool, but this one is gonna be a little bit more detailed and we've got some other cool stuff for it in here. All right, let's jump in and tear into this. So last year, the iPhone 7 case did leak months in advance of the real deal. And boom, there it is. So what makes this an iPhone 7 case? If you guys are doubting the legitimacy of this, it's definitely happened before and it will continue to be leaked year by year as case manufacturers are given the models to produce their cases with. All right, and uh, here it is. So these guys are already selling iPhone 8 cases uh, before they're even out. And just so you guys know, they have some pretty cool iPhone cases currently for the 7, 6, and below. So I'll leave links to that down below in the description, but it looks like these are for the 7 Plus. All right, so here it is. It says sample on it inside. This is gonna be good, another one. And here it is. Ooh, that's kind of heavy. I wonder what that is. So we've got a case and we've got the sample itself. Interesting. So this is the one I want to see. They actually want me to return it just because of uh, how rare of an item this is. Ooh, wow. This is actually made of metal. That's crazy. Look at that. You got your full display. So this one doesn't account for the cutouts up top, but it does have the buttons on the sides. Wow, that is actually stunning. So an actual metal uh, Apple logo here and a one-to-one -one camera up top. Holy crap, this thing is actually incredibly detailed. So all of the buttons themselves are chamfered on the edges. The power button is longer as it was rumored to be, and the placement is a little bit lower. So holding the iPhone 7, it's pretty comfortable. Let's see this one. Ooh, yeah, your finger sits right on it, lands right on it, so it's right there. Quite good. Thickness-wise, we will definitely need to test the thickness of it, but it feels like a very, very comfortable device to hold. I mean, basically reach almost all areas of the display. Lots of smudges on the display from me already, but wow, imagine a full display on the front of your phone. Not just a little bit, no bezels. That's crazy. It is a little bit wider though than the iPhone 7, so it's gonna sit a little wider in your hand, but that shouldn't be a problem. On uh, this side, you can see the orientation is pretty familiar with the buttons. It's this lens over here that's massive. It's even bigger than the pluses. So as you can see, it's a little bit taller, a little bit wider. Wow and the flash sits right in the middle. I'm very curious about how the flash will actually impact the photos. I really hope not negatively. I'm sure Apple will figure that out, but they put the microphone right in there because this will be a glass back on the iPhone and to put another hole into it for a microphone would not be good for the durability. So I'm sure that's why they placed it into the lens up there. The Apple logo mounted a little bit lower now, uh, but Cool, it feels amazing. It's got a nice heft to it. So this is actually a metal and glass model. I cannot believe they actually shipped me one with this high of quality materials. That looks really cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at the case. Pop it into there, see how it fits. And yes go, as you can see they do have this case here. There is no big button uh, for your fingerprint cutout. And as you can see, that fits perfectly right there. Now, if I were to use this as a fingerprint, you know, my index finger would land right on that Apple logo perfectly. So if Apple were to place a fingerprint sensor in there, that would be a good location, honestly, especially if it was embedded right into it. So that would work. Would I like that solution? No, I would love for it to be in the display, which is much better but there it is, very comfortable. Compared to my iPhone 7 Plus, it's a lot easier to hold and manage with one hand, not as wide, but you get a bigger display as well. 
Let's go ahead and take a look at those screen protectors. These I personally ordered. They were not provided by the same company, but let's take a look regardless. All right, and here they are. Wow, already off the top, I can see that it's a ridiculously thin bezel. So Apple Decade Edition, wow, look at that. It's indeed a very, very slim bezel going all around with a sensor bar up top. So I wonder uh, how this actually fits onto this model. Is it a one-to-one? -one? Ooh, it is. These are two completely different companies providing this to me, yet they fit perfectly. As you can see right there, wow. I mean, beyond any doubt at this point, this is what the design is going to look like. It's just too far into the game where mass production is about to begin that we're seeing these leaks. I mean, no way is it gonna be anything else. And this looks fantastic. Your image is gonna be obscured by literally nothing. It's just full display, except for this little area right here. So I'm sure it's gonna be two cameras, an iris sensor, and of course your ambient sensor there. And I just wanna go ahead and apply a screen protector. I have a white one here too, to show you the contrast of the display lines, just how large it is. All right, just applied that. Gonna put some pressure down on it, but it's a perfect fit actually goes right on and uh, yeah so at this point there's just no doubt this is what the display is going to look like this is what the phone is going to look like way way too far into the game for it to be anything else and there's that contrast just so you can see the display size look at that it starts all the way at the bottom on the 8 but on the 7 plus where it starts and where it ends is even taller than the 7 plus that's crazy you get more screen estates 5.8 inches versus 5.5 yet the form factor of the phone is smaller of course the cameras are now rotated essentially but I gotta say it looks good. It's definitely growing on me. After holding it in my hand, it's something I could definitely live with comfort-wise. It improves upon the iPhone 7 Plus in every single way. Even the power button is more accessible, a little bit easier to press, which is nice. On the bottom, same ports, same speakers, essentially lightning ports. No headphone jack anywhere to be found, unfortunately, for the people that thought it might come back. Uh, probably not gonna happen at this point, but there it is, guys. All right, the last thing I wanted to do is measure how thick this thing is compared to the current iPhones. So we've got, uh, I'd say 7.09 millimeters on the 7, 7.24. So just a little bit thicker there, but it's gonna get that massive L-shaped battery inside and uh, the logic board that's stacked now. So Apple is making really good use of the internal structure of the phone. Let's see the 7 Plus just coming in at about 7.14 here. Now, my question is how much does the lens protrude? So right now the iPhone 7 Plus uh, about 8.8. Eight. Oh, less now, huh, 8.72. So it might protrude less than this guy. Let's see what the wobble is on the table. So with the iPhone, you got quite a bit of travel there. Let's see this guy. Oh, it's even worse because it's a smaller shell. It's even more unbalanced. But definitely not as stable as the 7 Plus even, even though it protrudes less. And guys, last thing I wanted to say is a special thank you to Yesco for making this video possible and sending me this model. I'm very appreciative of that. So I wanted to say thank you to them by allowing you guys to purchase some of their cases. Got some great stuff for the 7 Plus, even the iPhone 7. So if you guys wanna grab any of these, they have like a ton of good reviews. I checked them out for a little bit. I'll leave a link down below in the description. You can even buy the iPhone 8 case from them if you really want to prepare three months early. But thanks so much for watching, guys. That's a quick look at the iPhone 8 and some physical hands-on with it. Peace.